Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHG Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video, I will demonstrate how to visualize a point cloud using RGB values sampled from an orthophoto. In this example, we'll use a recent orthophoto from the Netherlands, from Rotterdam, where in another video we have downloaded the AHN tile. So to access open data for the Netherlands, we install the PDOC services plugin. And there we can click this button and see the data. And here the first one is the aerial photograph, 25 centimeters RGB. That's what we need. And there it is. Now we need to zoom in to Rotterdam. We can use this uh, geolocation. And there we are approximately in Rotterdam. And we zoom into the area that we need for for the processing uh, matching the tile that we have downloaded from AHN, which I demonstrated in another video. Because this is a web surface and we can't use it, we need to convert it to a GeoTIFF. So I export it by saving it as an image and I use the map canvas extent and we need to increase the resolution because later the RGB values will be sampled from the pixels in the GeoTIFF. So let me put it in this case on 600 dpi and give it an output name and this will be a geo-referenced uh, geotiff of what I see on the screen. If you don't have uh, access to a web service you can also just load a tile of an orthophotograph that you have in TIFF format or you generate it from uh, the Google satellite images which come with the quick map services plugin. The next step is to use the LAS tools and you find under File Processing Tools you find LAS Color. That's the tool that we're going to use and as our input LAS file we use the AHN tile that we have downloaded uh, previously. You can see that in a previous video. Open data uh, from the Netherlands, LiDAR data and here we specify uh, the orthophoto and the output file name and it will save it in a new uh, LAS or LAZ file. It will take a while to run, here I have uh, cut it out of the video. Now we need to convert it to the pottery format that can be read by uh, the QGIS 23JS uh, plugin. So I open Anaconda prompt, I go to the correct environment that we also created in a previous video and I give this command and I can only use the tab completion if I use the slashes uh, like this and I specify the output this is to generate the pottery uh, compatible format it gives an error because those slashes need to go the other way and uh, because I wanted to use tab completion, I used the normal slashes, but then you need to replace it with the forward slashes and then you see it works. That will also take a lot of time. I have uh, cut it out of the video. When the conversion is done, we go back to QGIS and we will use now the QGIS 23JS plugin, which I already installed. But here you can find it. And we click that button to access the plugin screen and we can then add the point cloud. We browse to our generated file and then we click add. And by default it will read the RGB values so we don't have to do anything else. We see that uh, the area that we sampled from is a bit smaller than the whole tile. Um, so therefore the outside will get uh, black dots which have uh, no data and here we can see that uh, the texture is taken from uh, the orthophotograph and added to the points so basically we see now our points from the point cloud in colors from the orthophoto now there is also some um, sparse data where uh, we don't have so many points and we can do this trick to replace it with the color of water because normally it's water and that will give a more homogeneous view without those gaps. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
you've learned how to add RGB data to your point cloud data. And um, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive also updates. And if you want more free materials, have a look at IHE Delft Open Courseware at gisopencourseware.org.